Ghosts of Drew University is a narrative podcast written and produced by Eli Hatcher in association with the Drew University Theater Department. No ghosts were harmed in the making of the series. This, this is Eli Hatcher, the Ghosts of Drew University. Wesley uh, will not be joining us as he has been injured. Fuck this. Shit. 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 Okay, I know I said I wouldn't do this, but right now I don't have a choice. Wesley isn't here, but some shit is going on. The Great Hall Ghost only swings the chandeliers. He doesn't attack people or anything like that. Something is happening. A ghost didn't push Wesley down those stairs. Hi, I'm looking for Wesley. Is he still working? Okay, great, thank you. Oh shit! Hi, sorry. You scared me. What are you doing here? People are supposed to go through the front of the haunted house, not the back. Sorry, did they really put you at the end? Yeah, I can't be a scare actor with a broken arm, so... I'm sorry, man. It's fine. What do you want? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I was looking in the school archives and I found out some stuff about the ghosts we ran into. Eli, I've had enough. I told you I don't want to do the podcast anymore. I know, but this is important. Fine. What is it? The Hoyt Fork ghost doesn't attack people. The worst Carol does is pinch men who go up there. Carol? Yeah, that's her name. So, what, you caught her on an off day? Maybe she just thought you were particularly annoying. Well, what about this? The ghost of the Great Hall doesn't attack people at all. It just makes the lights weird and stuff. So? So someone pushed you, Wesley. It wasn't a ghost. We should figure out who it was. Look, Eli, my shoulder hurts, and I have to sit here pretending to be a zombie pirate for the next three hours. I don't want to do the podcast anymore. Wesley, this is more than the podcast. Something is happening. We were a part of it. Whether you want it or not, I'm sorry. I just assumed you would go along with whatever I told you to do. You're a good friend, and I know I can always count on you, and I'm sorry about your arm. Thank you. I wound up getting an extension on my paper out of it, so it's not all bad, I guess. (sighs) Look, if you need me that much, I'll help. Thank you so much. Whoa, watch the arm. Sorry. I'm gonna go do some more research. Okay. I'll be standing here. So the archives website says that the most haunted building on campus is Mead Hall. Why didn't we start the series there then? Well, I wanted to save the best for last. Okay. So we go to Mead? I guess. Wait, if the ghosts are acting up, then why would we go to the most haunted place on campus? Well, you know. What? I have no clue. I just thought that that was a good place to start. Okay. Okay, maybe we split up and cover ground. What do you think? Sure. I guess, but what if... Uh, hey, Emily, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just preparing the summoning circle. That's weird. That's weird, right? Well, I don't believe that's what normal people do. Emily, what's going on? Well, I feel like it's pretty obvious. Honestly, I'm really confused. I mean, it's Halloween, we're in the most spiritually charged building on campus, and there's a big old pentagram on the floor. You do the math. I know, it's just all so... cliché. Yeah, it's like something out of a cartoon almost. Look, I didn't do all this hard work just for you two to make fun of me. What work? You drew a circle and a star? No, I also convinced Maddock to do a weekly ritual for me, aggravated all the ghosts on campus, and pushed Wesley down the stairs. What the fuck? Yeah, that's not cool. Whatever, it gets results. Well, what makes you think we're just gonna let you do that? Oh no, I did the ritual hours ago. I was just waiting for the sacrifices. What? Oh. Oh, I I think she means us. Oh shit. In here! I don't like that we have to put ourselves in danger so much for this podcast. This is the most non-podcast related violence we've experienced in a while, so in a way it's kind of nice. Dude, shut up. Yeah, shut up! Holy shit! 
What up? Ritual powers mean I'm essentially a ghost. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, check this out. This sucks. Yeah, I don't know what to do though. Oh, I have an idea. Catch. I'll come back. What the fuck? Don't leave me. You'll be okay. Okay. Maybe we can be reasonable. There's no reason for you to do whatever weird ghost thing you're gonna do to me. Once I sacrifice you both, then I get insane ghost powers, and I get to control ghosts. Okay. Granted, that's really cool. But once again, like, really cliche and overdone and- Shut up! Ah! Oh! Ow! <sighs> Hell yeah! I knew these crystals were good for something. What did you do to her? I taped a bunch of crystals that I stole from Sandy to my hand, and made brass knuckles. That seems like it shouldn't have worked. Oh well. I guess we foiled her evil plan. I feel kind of bad that you just rocked her shit. Wesley, she shoved you down a flight of stairs. Yeah. Well, that should do it. I guess we stopped her. Wait, can't she just do this again next Halloween? I don't care. We graduate this year. It's not our problem anymore. Oh yeah. Well, it isn't too late to go trick-or-treating. Sure. Why not?